the Conservative MP Bob Seeley, a Brexiteer, you Hi. voted high. You voted for Theresa May last night. Why did you vote for her? I did. Uh, you don't commit regicide at this stage in the process. We need to keep together the most likely chance of getting a managed withdrawal deal, a managed Brexit and a withdrawal deal through is to stick with the, the deal that we've got and try to improve it, but to stick with the, with the leader we've got as well. I think anything else, you're just in for weeks of chaos. She's in Brussels yeah. wanting to get something. Yeah. What could she come back with that would make any difference? The most important thing that came out of the meeting last night was that they're working tirelessly to try to keep the DUP on side. If they manage to keep the DUP on side, then frankly all bets are off and we may be back into a situation where we can get a withdrawal deal through Parliament. There are two problems that we have. On one side, you've got hardcore Remainers, these sort of Thomas Moores, who think their consciences are above the will of the British people. And on the other side, you've got Brexiteers who want a Brexit that's so pure, it's like something out of The Wizard of Oz. It's forever somewhere over a rainbow. I don't want a Julie Garland Brexit that doesn't exist. I don't, I'm not siding with the Thomas Moores. I want, I'm a Democrat, I want to deliver for the British people, and I want us to get on, do Brexit, and get back to governing. The DUP have been explicit, haven't they? They will not support the Theresa May as long as she's sticking with that deal. Let's see what happens. If she doesn't come back... What did she say? What was said that has given you confidence that that might change? That she met the DUP that afternoon. She'd been in talks with them on a consistent basis. And she sounded like there was a chance of something that would keep the DUP on side. They have a right to be concerned about the union and their role. But nudges and winks are not enough, are yeah. they? What, what was it? Was there something that really persuaded you it was more than just hope over expectation, over reality? I, I have to make a, a trust decision. Right. Do I trust the Prime Minister or do I trust in, in an unknown? And this, at this late stage in the day, I'm trusting in the Prime Minister. If she doesn't get the withdrawal deal through Parliament, managed no deal. But I would prefer a deal and the only deal, the best deal on offer, is the one that is going to appear at some point before when, when you say because we it's will the only move, deal. We will move your expectation. Well, if we fail and if we don't get a, a withdrawal deal through, then there are a series of options. I think probably a no deal becomes most likely. I don't think, I can't see how Parliament is going to force a second vote or other alternatives on the government. But clearly, it's not a position we don't want to be in. What about reaching out <coughs> to other parties? Well, if we've got a form of words that keeps the DUP on side, we are going to lose some colleagues on the Remainer faction, on the Brexiteer faction. So therefore, the, the critical element that two-thirds of Labour constituencies voted for Brexit, they voted to leave. So there are an awful lot of Labour MPs that have uh, constituencies, voters, groups of voters within their constituencies. Is this not a dysfunctional government now? Is the uh, only way ultimately out of this mess generally? No, happen? because Brexit is dividing everybody. I mean, the only people who are more divided than Conservatives are everybody else. You can them split on it, you can have party split. This is a, a relatively unique moment in our life. And actually, we were given a mandate by the British people. I want to see that mandate put into effect. The most likely chance we have to get that mandate through is by sticking with the government and the leader that we have. Thank, thank you, you very much.